Hey everyone, it's the Anonymous Investor. Welcome back to the channel. It has been a while. Today marks a very special day. Today is day 200 of me investing $1 a day into various stocks using the Cash App. So we're going to be going over all of my progress for 200 trading days specifically. So here is the starting screen of the Cash App. We're going to scroll on over to the investing portion. We have stocks and Bitcoin. We'll talk about both of them. So this is day 200 in total. I have invested $1,647.39 and the total gain is an outstanding $471. If I click on details, that is a total unrealized gain of 28.6%. Very impressive there. So we're going to go through all of my stocks that I own on here. And again, the whole premise is that every single day I invest $1. Regardless of what the stock price cost, I invest exactly $1. The time varies. It's typically in the morning though, typically around opening. Um, but yeah, we invest $1 a day and we're trying to see what happens. Does dollar cost averaging actually works? So in first place, we have Tesla. So Tesla in total, again, I've invested $200 and it's gained $198. So that's basically doubled, right? That's a, almost a 100% increase. If I'm not mistaken, um, Cash App does not show you the aftermarket price. I think Tesla is currently trading at $722. So this is probably a $200 gain. Now the thing about Tesla is that Tesla honestly dropped. If I would have recorded this last week, Oh my gosh, the markets were so red. At the highest, Tesla was at like $900. And then just last week, look at that. It dropped down to $698. It actually dropped down to like $630 at one point. Let's see if I can get it. $657. It dropped as low as $630. And then yeah, last week was pretty bad, but it is recovering nicely right now. So yeah, it is a double. It is a double. It is a 2x. After Tesla, we have Disney, amazing performer. Um, oh, sorry. Back on Disney, $86 gain. $86, $86. Clicking on details, that is a 43% gain. So Disney's pretty amazing. Apple is the only one that isn't a 200 day. This one I've been this one I started 2 weeks ahead. So this is 214 days. And this has a $44 gain for a 21%. So pretty impressive there. Next we have Boeing and Boeing has a $48 gain for a 24% gain. Let's go there. Um Starbucks, everyone who ever buys Starbucks just imagine if instead of buying Starbucks, instead of spending $5 a day, and that's probably being generous. Most people probably spend $10, $20 maybe on Starbucks a day. Imagine if instead of buying Starbucks, you just invested it into the app, whether it's Cash App, whether it's Robinhood, Webull, whatever you use. Yeah, $45 gain almost. That is a 22% gain. That is crazy. And again, this is just with a dollar a day. So that's Starbucks. Microsoft is $24, $25 almost. That is a 12% gain. Netflix, Netflix is $22. This is an 11% gain. Amazon, Amazon is only $6. This is the worst performer being a 3%, which I will say is still better than having the money invested in a bank. And the whole thing is like, think long term. Where is Amazon going to be long term? Is it going to be more profitable or less profitable than it is right now? So Amazon, I'm um, definitely this this one I am I'm really expecting it to be a lot higher. I'm surprised it's performed so low. I think it's been dropping ever since they reported earnings. Let's see. It was at 3,100 at one point. Currently, it is trading at 3,000. What is it at right now? Here, let me try to move it around. 3,000. Wait, 3,165. It's not that far off. Let's look at a month back. Oh, here we go. The high was 3,400 one year ago. I mean, overall, it's been increasing, which is what matters. 61% increase like year to date. All right, let's exit out of that. And then NEO. So NEO is not part of the 200 crew. NEO, I only started investing. When did I start investing in NEO? Let's click on activity, view all. This one I started investing on January 11th. And um, you can see what $1 a day buys you. At one point, it was buying me 0 0.016 shares, then 0 0.017 shares, and then um, so on and so on and so on. And right now, it is buying me more because it costs less. So NEO... I think they reported earnings. Neo sales tops two billion in transform um, transformational year earnings insights. Let's see, jumps ahead off report after EV. I actually thought this was down aftermarket. So as of right now, I'm actually down Neo. Neo's down 13% almost. I think it's actually lower than it shows here. 49. I think it was. I saw it for like 47. So this might actually be lower, but that's fine. I'm also wanting to see what happens with Neo. It's often referred as to the Tesla of China, although they use battery swap technology. So that's going to be interesting to see. So we'll see where Neo is at. But yeah, guys, this is my progress. I have invested $200 a day into Tesla, Disney, Boeing, Starbucks, Microsoft, Netflix, and Amazon, and then 214 days into Apple, and then 33 days into Neo, my newest position. And in total, just a, it's crazy what a dollar a day can do in total. Like you wouldn't think, right? 
But here, let's see when I started. If I click on Tesla, and if I scroll down to view all activity and I scroll all the way down, like that's a dollar a day, a dollar a day, a dollar a day. If I scroll all the way down, when does it start? It starts on May 13th. So on May 13th, it is gonna be a, I, I think that, I hope that's a Friday. It's gonna be a one year anniversary of investing dollar a day. So it's gonna be interesting to see where we're at. Will we reach a total of $2,000 invested? Maybe, because right now it's at 1600, right? Yeah, it's at 1647. So every single day I'm investing what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dollars a day, really, because of all the different companies. But yeah, you can see like so far, everything with the exception of Neo has pretty much been a, a success. So this is really cool. And again, total unrealized gain is 28%. Try getting that in a bank. Try getting that in a savings account. Not going to happen. Try getting it in a certificate of deposit. Not going to happen, right? And I think on Disney, one of them is also paying dividends. Starbucks pay dividends. If I click on view all activity, see how in total trades it's it trades slash dividends, it's 201. That's because Starbucks actually pays a dividend. Let's see if we can find it. We're gonna find it somewhere here. Let's see. You're gonna see oh, two dollars. So that's because on December 29th I forgot to buy. Sometimes it happens, or I don't forget, but sometimes the internet cuts off or something happens where there's an error and I think I buy it, but I don't. If that ever happens, I make it up the next day. So that doesn't really change too much. But right here, 70 cent dividend. So just for holding Starbucks shares, Starbucks pays me. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, I think Disney also pays, but I think they're currently on pause right now. Let's click on the details there. No, not details. Let's click on view all 199. So Oh, that's interesting. I might have done the $2 again. Here, let's scroll down through it. Let's see what we find. Do, 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 do. Do we see dividends? No, I'm pretty sure they paused it given everything that happened. But now they're making banks, so I wouldn't be surprised if they start again. Ooh, I don't see a $2. There's so somewhere there's going to be a $2 because I skipped a day on accident or something happened. All right, but it doesn't matter. So, yeah, guys, that is my progress when it comes to stocks. Uh, the next thing we need to look at is cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin, because you're allowed to buy Bitcoin using the Cash App. So if I click on Bitcoin, I currently have $157.77. The funny thing about cryptocurrency or Bitcoin on here is that I have not purchased anything other than $7. Look at that. $7 is all I purchased. The rest, look at that. I started on May 12th, $1, $1, $1, $1, $1. That's because you can buy crypto on the weekends. Um, the rest was just earned using the Cash App. So... I made videos about the Cash App before, how amazing it is, because you can literally swipe the card and you get cryptocurrency. Um, so far, though, the rewards on the Cash App have been really bad. Let's actually check them out. Yeah, if we look at the Cash App boost, we have Chick-fil-A, we have Domino's, PlayStation, Chewy, anywhere $5 off. I think you got to probably do, yeah, you got to do 20 transactions to activate that, so uh, that's not that great. We have Goat, DoorDash, and any restaurant. Oh, here's the Bitcoin one. But there, you, there was a time when it was like, 15% um, you would get 15 in cryptocurrency off any purchase or 5% on three different purchases So right now the only one we have is earn 10% worth of Bitcoin at one restaurant at any or at one purchase at any restaurant So I might have to treat myself to a nice little dinner if I want some uh, quote-unquote free cryptocurrency some free Bitcoin um, Yeah, but so far the the boost on cash app have not been the greatest But that's okay in terms of investing a dollar a day um, That's been pretty good instead of just Bitcoin and holding it That's been pretty good as well Also, I want to give a huge shout out and a huge thanks to anyone that has used my cash app referral Do not forget though if you use my referral if you want your free five dollars You're gonna have to link it to your bank account and then send five dollars to anyone What I would recommend you do is use my referral and then you're gonna get your own referral refer your own friends and family and if, especially if it's family, send them $5, they can send you $5 back, and then both of your accounts will increase by $5. It's a free $5 from the Cash App just for using the referral code. So I highly recommend you take advantage of that. It's free money, essentially, and then you can get into investing. The Cash App, investing with the Cash App is, um, it's super easy for beginners. It's literally, you find a stock you like, and you invest a dollar or $5 or whatever you want. So without having to look at like crazy charts like Webull and the technical analysis or any like that, or even Robin. Robin is pretty simple too, but... In terms of simplicity, Cash App is honestly a really good one, and it's also a great way to send money um, to friends and family for whatever reasons. So yeah, just wanted to give that quick uh, shout out and thanks for anyone using the referral code, but just remember, you do need to open up an account, link it to a bank account, and then send $5 in order for you to get your five free dollars. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this was a special day because it was Mark's day 200 of investing a dollar day. And overall, we are doing really good. So looking forward to the year anniversary and just looking forward to keep investing dollar day to see where this is at the end of everything. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Really hope you thought this video was helpful. And as always, never stop learning.